hi everyone in this quick video I am going to show you my how am I doing on the eBay side of things selling for last month so um, my screen is a large screen so I've I've reduced the screen size a bit because my monitor is very large you know more than 24 inches so it's a huge screen so I hope you can see it so what I'm going to do is log in so we can I can show you last month's or few months taking what I managed to sell so the first thing I do let's let's uh, sign in so we go to our account buy sell second hand Uh -huh. Okay, so right, I'm just about to log into my account. That's it, I've done that. Okay, I don't want to save my password, no need to save. We continue, and now what we do, we will go to this, this the account. We can go up to Sellers Hub and have a look around how we done. So we do. We're gonna to go to Accounts, and then we go to the Activities, and what we do, we go down all listing, and at the bottom of it, right, we can see sold listing. Go to our sold listing page, and here this month. Well, I've been a bit lazy lately, so this month I haven't sold much, but uh, let's go, let's see the last month, shall we? That's what we're going to discuss last, uh, last month, it been October, so let's do some October sales. Yeah, now here we go, I've I managed to sell um, an October. Uh, listed uh, sold 55 items at a total of 843 pound I had to excuse me I had to refund one uh, item there for 36.95 so 843 pound of sales on month of October so as you can see some of these stuff uh, you know the usual um, th this is the item I had to refund the item which was a Timberland woman nine, um, 6 inch premium wheat leather casual boots six, 36 99 the buyer complained about scuffing and Obviously, she took it, and I is clearly stated in the photo there was only too small scuffing, and I had it clearly visible on the photo and on my description, I think. But anyway, she returned it, and I returned the money back, so that's good. No problem there. So another pair of Timberland here. I bought that pair for. Um, uh, Eight quid, and I managed to sell it for. Um, this is the pair we're talking about. We sold it for twenty four ninety nine. So that was a good, excellent sell there. Right. Um, this is quite interesting. Now here, I bought this pair of um, Nike Air Ultra. Oh, let's get that listing here. There we go. Yeah, let me um, slightly enlarge the thing so you can say it because, yeah. Right, now, this is Nike Air Max 1 Ultra Mule Rear Man Black Shoe. 
I paid um, 12 pounds now I end up getting it 47.99 so that was excellent in my view excellent sell yes, but the, the pair was immaculate and the guy loved it who bought it yeah uh, so yeah and a converse soul star high top that is again paid eight quid got 14.50 back and the chap who bought it I'm very delighted with it so it's given me a, an excellent review now these PlayStation game PS1 PS2 PS3s and all the rest of it they're okay but I try not to do them anymore that it's not it's not worth it unless you can sell them in the bundles so there you go now this is quite interesting I had I bought I literally how can I put this it weighed more than a kilo I think um, pin badge now I do have listing of pin badges uh, and interesting thing is I think these these badges is over Roughly, I don't know how many of them are. Let's have a look at what do I put. Yes, yeah, about 195 badge weigh over a kilo. And I thought, you know, why am I going to waste my time listing them individually and taking the photos? It's going to be a headache. So I just put them in a bundle. And I managed to get 14.99 out of them. So that was quite good. Because you know, individually listing badge is just time consuming and it's a great hustle. So, there you go, that was quite nice. Now, this is a camera I bought it for myself to do some videoing on my YouTube channel and on this channel. It was a Logitech uh, 3C90 C930. Logitech, yeah, and a web camera. Now, I paid, I think, around about 40 something from brand new, and obviously, I managed to get the money back on that one. I listed, I, I hardly used the camera, I think I used it twice, and I could get hang of it, so I decided I'm gonna vlog it. So. I did and somebody bought it and they're very pleased with it so that was a good return on my money back again um, this is quite interesting so John John Lewis giant flower one of these uh, uh, children children um, piano key plastic uh, not key this you put on the lay on the floor and you know children can walk over it and plays musical notes all sort of stuff so bought that for three quid i think and managed to get 19.99 and here again um pair of uh air max yeah 90 very good condition absolutely brilliant condition um paid Ten pound for them, and managed to get thirty one ninety nine out of it. That's very good. Um, you can't. Whenever you find Air Max, Air Maxes, and they're in very good condition, pick them up because you cannot go wrong with Air Maxes. Right, and this is very interesting. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this pair of Jordans. Um, this lady had two pairs. And the interesting thing, I just saw them, but there was another guy who jumped ahead of me in the queue and he grabbed the, the other pair. So I, I had no time to waste because I could see from the distance I won this pair. And I didn't even barge for the price. Jordan Air Force Retro Men's, yeah. Now, I paid 15 pound 
and I got 52.99 back. So whenever you, if you ever get come across one of these, grab it. Don't ask questions, just grab it. They uh, make sure they in very good condition. Look at this. Managed to get 52.99 out of it. All right. Here are the usual stuff, Bopet Extreme, you know, this, yeah, good seller, you pick them up for a pound and you fling them for 12 99 that's good. Monopoly is always a good seller and this time of the Christmas, uh, just around the corner, uh, make sure you, if you pick up a lot of game boards, yeah, you, you probably will sell them. They just fly off the wall, yeah. Another, another Nike trainer here. Now these, as a ladies, um, um, sky high liberty wedge so liberty design floral design there it's very good condition paid 12 pounds and got 29.99 back on those yeah so whenever you see anything to do with the wedge shoes whether it's nike Nike, yeah, don't just grab them because they tend to fly quickly. Yeah, and I'm just last year I bought about 30 of these miracle grow flower seeds. Um, and luckily within this year I managed to flog them. 30 of them, I think I only have about three or four left, so I've done quite well on. Medical grow. All right, and if you ever get a chance of picking up these old BT telephones, uh, British Telecom cordless um, BT phones, grab them because this is the one I paid to four pound, and I got like eighteen ninety nine back. The the interesting thing is about these old type of telephones, you know, the cordless ones. Not old type, you know, they're quite old, about 10, 15, about 15 years old or so. Um, what you can do, if even your, if this hand, handset unit does not work, what you can do, you can sell the, the charger separate. You can always sell the charger. And these chargers goes between 10 quid to I've even noticed fourteen ninety nine, and I've sold one or two of those chargers for eight ninety nine. They just go like a, a snap of your finger. They just go. Here, I Nintendo DS game that was stuck for a couple of months, and then I managed to get that for nine ninety nine. I think I paid fifty p each, so there was nine of them, whatever it is. So. Right, that's good so diesel jeans um yeah it's good here yeah, this is very interesting now whenever you see one of these stuff uh, anything to the baby monitors you know baby um, safety devices like these monitors um I I paid six quid for those and get sorry on this pair six grade uh, very good condition all boxed up and 20 quid back so that's good and again another sony playstation bundle there another nintendo bundle now coming down us yeah again like again a pair of nike um high top air force here Sorry, yeah, it was what about code force, yeah. Very good condition. Um paid you know the highest I pay for these trainers is between eight and if they're extremely good condition then I pay as far as fifteen quid for them. But you're looking at between four quid and the maximum eight quid. If you're pushing it and they're in very good condition, then I would do 12 to 15 quid. 
I do not go beyond that. And if I'm buying something for 15 quid, obviously it's going to be the on the high end. So I'm not going to sell it for 19.99 minus 15 quid, am I? So you got the message, you got it. And this is interesting. This Mr. Potatoes had uh, Transformers. And they had, this lady had two. And, and both of them I paid um, four quid each. And I got 14.90 right back. And here we go again. Um, another pair of Air Force One. Again, uh, I think I picked this pair for twelve pound. And and what size is this? Uh, this is size. All oh, right, size eight. So I got thirty four ninety nine back on this pair. All right, let's have a look. Ah, this is very interesting. Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo game console yeah um paid 15 pound for them there's a couple of games and the connectors got 33.99 and what do we have here leaf frogs these are educational uh, the devices you know for the young kids if you do get hold of them you can sell them separately, so I decided I had to uh, put them in a bundle, paid a pound each for them, three quid for the lot. Got 19 back on that one. Uh, what do we have? Yeah, uh, this um, projection clock. Yeah, I've I've sold a few over the years. Yeah, they're good buys. So if you do find one of those, just pick them up. Um, don't pay more than four quid or five quid. If you pay five quid, it's a bit too much. But try lower up to two, two and a half, three quid max. There you go. I paid a quid, I think, for this one. So there you go. It's a good sell. All right. And what we have here? Harry Potter. Now, this is very interesting. Uh, Harry Potter books. They've got uh, Harry Potter DVD. And here I've, I did pick up another a Sony PlayStation bundle here. Paid 15 quid. With, I don't know how many games there, a couple of games, yeah, uh, 10 video games and controller and the connector, got 32 99 back. And again, look, I'm, I'm quite into this um, Nike Air Forces, look, another pair of Air Force. Um, again, uh, this one I think I paid 8 quid. And the secret for me is... You may believe or disbelieve, but what I tend to do if I get battered all F1s and F2, I do my own cleanup, meaning I clean them with solutions and stick in a washing machine using a pillow and wash them out good and they become sparkling. And I don't like the view that these are leather shoes will be creased up, they don't crease up. As you can see, sometimes I put them through the washing machine and they look immaculate. There you go. And if you do that, you raise your value. There you go. Just working a couple of a uh, couple of minutes on those, cleaning them up, it pays off. There you are. Now there's a diesel jean, paid eight quid for this pair and got twenty four ninety nine out of those. Okay. Sorry about this. This video is getting quite long a bit. Again, blah blah one. I'm just gonna go up, and I think I'm finished. This is the last bit. Now this is very interesting. It's very difficult. Is you're not gonna believe this. Because I was really, I had this pair of trainers for about roughly, you look in about eight, nine months. This, right, if you look at it, it's battered. Look, look at this photo, I can't get closer. Now, this was like unbelievable. Look, I, I don't know if, I, if you can see it or not, but um, uh, it's like, look, it's just tearing up all parts. Look, the tip of the on the tip this is literally coming apart and you are not going to believe this somebody actually bought it as a they're going to display in their shop so he went um, on the um, global shipping program to somewhere in Switzerland there we are now I wanted to get rid of it I 
<laughs> lower the price to 6.99 and 6.95 and somebody took it there we go everybody i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah some things are looking good you know and i'm finding now mm, there's more and more trainers are going well and yeah i hope this video has encouraged you and give you a bit of in-depth uh, how you can improve your business now as i say i'm not a full-time ebayer i'm just do these things on the part-time and sometimes i'm lazy i could see it, there's a chance of me really literally making this a big business but because i have other commitment in life i cannot concentrate more on this you know i just concentrate whenever i get the time but feedback is good everything should look good and i thank you for everybody who's buying from me and giving me all this lovely feedback and thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos please click like subscribe button if you want to learn or know how a bits and pieces how to get on please send me an email and send message me or to you know the important thing please like and describe subscribe sorry not describe subscribe to my channel once again i hope you enjoyed it and please go out and check my other stuff i do have other bits and pieces on internet there's always a link underneath the video please go and check them out thank you so much